Alright guys, here's my first attempt at making a YouTube video. So for math today, you're going to look at kilograms and grams, which are two different ways that we measure the weight of something. You'll see them call it mass a lot in your um, work, and that just means the weight. Okay, so mass. So we have gram and kilogram. What the grams are is the smaller one. Okay, so grams, a gram would be something like a little rock. Maybe something really tiny, okay? Grams aren't very heavy at all. And a kilogram is a lot closer to a pound. So if you think of somebody like me, I'd be close to like 100 kilograms or something, okay? So kilograms are a little heavier. So obviously we use grams to measure small things. So if it ever asks you what's the weight of something small, like a paper clip or a pencil, you're going to use grams. If it's something bigger, like a human or a car or a dog or even like a sack of potatoes, you're going to use kilograms, okay? And a lot of ways that we can measure things is on a scale like this one. It's called a balance scale. So the way a balance scale works is you put two items on here. So let's say I have an apple and then a paper clip. So you compare your two items. So my apple is obviously going to is pulling down on this side because it's heavier than the paper clip. Okay? And one way we can use these is putting little weights, which if we were at school right now, I would have a bunch of scales and we'd be able to weigh stuff. But that's not going to be able to happen. So, <clears throat> let's say I put some weights on this side and my weight says this weighs 10 grams. So if it weighs 10 grams and the apple's pulling it down, that means it's still heavier. The apple's more than 10 grams, okay? If, this isn't as good as a whiteboard. If my scale is straight, that means they weigh the same. So let's put my apple here again. And over here we're gonna put 12 grams this time. So now they're even. That means that my apple weighs the same as the 12 grams. So an apple weighs 12 grams. So the way you can think about it is whatever the lower side is, is the heavier side. So if you're doing greater than or equal to the side with that's lower is going to be your heavier side, is your greater than side. If they're equal, they're equal. And if, you know, lower, it's less than. Okay, so grams, there are 100 grams, oh, 1,000 grams, and a kilogram. We've talked about kilo before, that kilo prefix means 1,000. Okay, if you can remember back to when we talked about prefixes, kilo means 1,000, so that means there's 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So you can kind of think of how much that would be. All right, a thousand of those. It's gonna be pretty heavy. So this is what we're gonna work on measuring with these. Hopefully this works out and makes sense. And I'll keep working on my video skills. It might be get a little better at this. And I'm gonna try and do one for reading tomorrow. Um, I miss everybody. I wish we were at school. This isn't very fun doing it like this, but we'll make the most out of it. And now I can say I'm a YouTube star. So. I guess that works out. So if you have questions, comment in the Google Classroom. And email me if things aren't working. You guys are doing a great job. I'm proud of all of you. I miss you all very, 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 very much.